No, I want to call the clock. I want to call the clock. You come to my game and you're wasting my time. I'm going to walk out. If these guys are going to come here waste my time, I'm going to walk out of the game. I'm the donkey, I've got to sit here and play every hand? What okay, is going no on here? Bring someone that's going to play a hand. you the Mr. Robo, right? I'm happy, I'm happy to be at this table. Chips are fine. You'll be able to clean us and destroy us and rip us apart. That is exactly the game plan. Okay, but one thing you do have to do, you have to straddle every hand. Nice. We're not having no internet kids coming here and being tight ass. All right, and you're gonna play every We're gonna hand. We're gonna get that across right away. I got it across and that was right. You're gonna play every hand here. You don't come here and play tight, okay? okay. I'm not trying to put pressure on, but you are expected to play. You don't come here on TV playing with the stars and folding away. Tony, the only reason I played is they told me you were going to be on the show. And I, they just called me right now at my house and they're like, we got a game with Tony G. And I got here as fast as I could. And so if you didn't, someone gonna, else would have. It was a race and you just beat someone else. <laughs> Robo looks at ace nine, folds. And you folded every hand and you're tilting me up so much. <laughs> I have, Hello. I have folded two hands. Tony raises the Brunson. No straddle. What Again, is going no on straddle. here? Bring someone that's going to play a hand. Okay, I'll play. I honestly can't tell if Tony's actually mad or not. Well, I'm, I'm the donkey. I got to sit here and I, play every hand. I have a maniac on my left. What maniac? I'm just playing. Yeah, you have to play tight when you have a maniac on your left. That's a boring answer, but he's right. Six six ace trips for Daniel. This could be fun. Tony fires 1,500. Tony's done a little of the work for him. Daniel raises. Daniel thinks you can just take it from me. This would be a bad time for Tony to get aggressive. You can. I mean, I just I can't defend it yeah. any longer. I have three sixes, by the way. Really? Of course. Yeah, because you if you if I would have had nothing, you would have just played. But <laughs> yeah. because I have three sixes, you have to fold. Queen six suited for Robles. This could be the ultimate laydown against the blind razor. Tony's trying to goad him. <laughs> Robel didn't find that one funny. He said, it's good to see me. He pops it. Pop it up. Five tray for Tony. No, no, I'm just giving you free money. That's all right. Take it. Tony calls. I'm expecting you to fold. Oh, no, you want me to have free money. He can't be serious that he expected Tony to fold, Calculated can he? Calculated the pot and potted it without saying pot. Five tray, six, action flop. Dicey flop for Robel. Top pair for him. Bottom two for Tony G. That is a scary... You're a young man, that's a scary flop. Robo checks. Tony G bets 10 grand. Void the big bet. Let me check. I'm committed, you see? Andrew might like his hand, but there are a lot of bad cards that can come on the turn. Robo calls. You want me to just check it in the dark? Yes, please. Jack of clubs on the turn. Robo checks. Still playing cautiously. What do you have there? <laughs> anyway, I can get you off the hand. Tony knows Robo plays tight. How much do you have there, Robo? I had a 105 to start. So you were winning off someone? Tony's trying to figure out how to get max juice. How much have you put in now? Total 16? No, less. 13. I'm gonna bet 50. Tony bets 50,000. See if you're a real man. 50,000. Tony's playing mind games to make it look like he's trying to buy it, and he's even making it personal. Yesterday he told Daniel he was gonna put the pressure on Robo, and he's doing it now. Oh, I want to call the clock. I want to call the clock. Come on, on the internet you play like in one second. And when you come here now, you come to my game and you're wasting my time. Uh, on the internet, people don't bike. back three times a pot every day. your bikes. Get Amanda, Amanda, bring a tricycle. <laughs> call the clock. Bring your tricycle. It's bring ridiculous. It. I mean, this These kids are coming here, story. taking me on. Tony, calm down, please. Tony, yeah. I need to know that you bring a bike for me. So if I ship it all in, do I get a bike? <laughs> like at least, do I get a novelty prize? Now you're mocking the man. 
Now, you're, you're on the clock. You've got one minute, and then we're going to do a 10-second countdown, all right? That is floor man Tom Keen putting Andrew Robel on the clock. As entertaining as all this is, this actually breaks etiquette a little bit to call the clock on someone, especially in a cash game when the blinds don't increase. But this is all part of Tony's mind games to try to get Andrew steamed enough to call. Okay, you're at one minute, you got a 10 second countdown. At 10 seconds, your hand will be dead. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bold. Let's see a, a, a deuce nine. <laughs> a deuce and a nine, Tony G. Good fold. He didn't show. So this is a good, good fold. fold good show. fold. Made the hero lay down. What did you have? A uh, pair of sixes. What did you have, Ice Queen? Around, uh, around that. I guess in the technical sense, six queen is close to ace queen. Robel raising ace jack to 2,500. One card is possible. You could. Jack five for Tony. Folds. Lex is out. Six tray suited. Good enough to call for Daniel. Queen jack for Alan Barry, who folds. It's a little tight, but he is dominated. And Reynolds folds. Also tight. Both guys were out of position to the razor. I'm very unhappy right now. I'm not going to be able to sleep until after this episode comes out. Check. Negrano checks a flush draw following the flop. And I guess that is an achievement. Robel bets 4,000 with top pair. He's making Daniel pay to draw. And Daniel will. Daniel trying to chase that spade. The turn. The ten of diamonds, Robel picks up a straight draw. Daniel misses. Action on Negrano. Looks like we're going to see a semi bluff. Bet's 8,500. This is a donk bet bluff. He knows Robel is tight, and Andrew knows Daniel is loose, so top pair, decent kicker, and a gut shot might all just be too much to get away from for Andrew. Robel calls. We all know Robel's tight rep. Daniel can't like that call unless he sees a spade. Which he doesn't. Ten of hearts on the river. Daniel's got air, but if he wants to win this pot, he's going to have to use that air to blow Andrew off his hand. Action on the Granu. That's 18-5. Three tens is a tough bluff to pull off, so Daniel is most likely trying to rep a big ace or maybe a straight. His bet is designed to bluff Robel off a king, maybe. I don't think Daniel thinks he could get Robel to fold a big ace, though. I was so crushed after the final. I could cry. I'm going to walk out. If these guys are going to come here waste my time, I'm going to walk out of the game. It's a joke. F***ing hell, he's thinking 20 minutes every f***ing hand he's playing. F***ing nit. Here comes floor man Tom Keen, who's received more air time than Hoyt Corkins, who went broken eight hands on the big game. All right, Andrew, we're going to go through the same thing. You play online, it's like quick. Two seconds, bang, bang, they're pressing buttons. They come here, they freeze up. Daniel's done a good job of making this look like a value bet, so Andrew has a legit decision to make. He seems to be doing a good job of tuning Tony out. He folds. What? After all that, he finally threw it away. <laughs> I mean, I had a six. But... Daniel shows the bluff. You qualified. <laughs> I was so happy you called the clock, Tony. High five for the assist there, just in case. I don't think he had anything, and that's he had to move in bluff? himself. That's the first bluff that's worked for me in, like, I don't know how long. How many in a row have I tried? Andrew Robles now down financially and perhaps emotionally after the beating by Tony G. Well, you got yourself a hit and you can bluff him out. What is this, pledge week? I know Daniel's excited, but there's no need to rub salt in the wounds. Finally, I bluffed and the person didn't call. Right. Write that down, Amanda. Keep track, please. Robles tries to regroup. King four. 
Sloppy fold. King of clubs exposed. <laughs> That's a big hand. Yeah, you're so busy. Tony raises. It's not personal though. It's just I'm busy. Oh, I know it's not no, personal. No, no. Yeah, hundred percent not. I guess that was a kind of an apology.